Okay, so... I actually just remembered that... The just picked fruit market is more important later on. We need to first head to the Maldonado residence. Right now we need to just write, write that fruit market off as just a... Just another place, you know what I mean? Now let's head to the Maldonado residence, talk to the husband. Cause you know, Rusty's pretty sure that it's the husband because... Well, How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar on the husband every day of the week. Whoa, that lady got out, real, out of the way real fast. I like how much better this car handles than my previous vehicle. <laughs> Makes me really happy. That's right, I'm expecting you guys to stop in the middle of the freaking intersection from now on. Bunch of jerk faces. In apartment 304, I think. So that would be on the third. Phelps, floor. this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. <laughs> I got a hundred pounds in this. Now look, I don't want no trouble. Easy. Sure you can. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Why did you call him Finbar? He just said don't call him that. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? He seems so genuine, too, like... We should get the whole place going over, then talk to the neighbors. <clears throat> and Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Wait, 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 wait. Just picked fruit market. Suppliers to the El Dorado. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. It's interesting that, uh, that's a lot of what I can only assume is pine. The El, Dorado. the El Dorado must be a family favorite. That is quite an interesting looking oven. This will take some explaining. Oof. Oh my gosh, I have a cat. What are you doing, cat? Okay. Don't look at me like that. Alright. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. Three. 
Give me a golden knob. <laughs> oh god! I'm sorry about that. I'm playing with my kid. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. <gasps> that dude legitimately made Cole Phelps shit his freaking pants. Oh man. Jumpy little bugger. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. <laughs> I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Where's my car? It's all the way over there. I swear, Cole Phelps is playing his own game. How far can we park the car away from this place? Ah! You know, I would be more mad if not for the fact that I get a hearty chuckle out of every time I hear Phelps scream like that. At least I didn't lose my hat, that's what's important. Phelps badge 1247. You drove me Messages for me, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. Thanks, ma'am. Do what? A letter from the Dahlia Killer, huh? Damn, it's taken. Hmm. Wait. There's still something here? There's still something here. Why is there still something here? How utterly frustrating. I mean, is it because I didn't ask the rest of the neighbors? I probably need to ask all the neighbors, huh? What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Such an asshole. I mean, we did wake him up. I'd probably be pretty upset too, but still. There we go. Just had to talk to a big old jerky jerk face. I still love the dude that opened up the door and scared the crap out of Cole. That was great. And he sure was pretty awesome. You know. Come on, Finbar. 
Come on, Finbar! Come on, Finbar! Same time of day, dude! Come on! Come, come on! Rusty! Come on, man! Let's get going, buddy! Oh, do you think I'm gonna move forward on you again? Come on, buddy. <laughs> come, come, come on, you gotta, you gotta get in, bud. Come on. <laughs> come, come on, Rusty. Rusty! Rusty! Come on, Rusty. Oh, I pissed him off. Uh, another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your gut. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut fucking side. <laughs> the captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs. Really nice I felt lousy coloring. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to We're at downstairs. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Oof. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Hmm. I've changed my mind. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then be thou damned, beholding good, both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come. When thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. 
What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right. On the next episode, we're going to interview the husbando and see if we can wrap up the case and see how it goes.